okay 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 we are bright and live again visual media tv community good morning good afternoon good evening whatever you are from all parts of the world welcome back to your channel welcome back to the trending news and celebrity gossip and today we are going to handle your boy ice cube ice cube he has he has suffered actually some accusations from the fans that are accusing him of co-associating with uh, a rich guy with a rich guy known as Elon Musk but recently actually Ice Cube has come on and he defended his decision for co-associating with Elon Musk Ice Cube swiftly addressed the funny's accusation of being aligned with the white supremacist that is Ice Cube notably Elon Musk following a recent update about Big Three Ridge. On Thursday, recently, the iconic West Coast rapper, that is Ice Cube, delivered a highly anticipated news on the comeback of his three on three pro basketball league, which is set to kick off its seventh season on June 15th. When he was asked about why the league isn't on the streaming platform Rambo and, and that streaming platform that is known as Rambo Video, uh, Cube replied uh, in a very confusing way and he was like, because he, he doesn't see any good thing about that platform and this never left the fans in good shape. The former NWA rapper's answer first criticisms from fans who questioned his decisions to do business with ex-owner and that is Aaron Max with a home he previously clashed and casting doubt on Cubo's attention. After that this rapper I mean Ice Cube uh, was like g gave some answer to, to the media and was like one of the biggest fans was like I respect your response but just look and see who Aaron connects himself to and tell me I'm wrong. I still have respect for Cube, always will, however, I am not blind to his, who he aligns with. I like the big three, both things can be right at the same time. Uh, that is, uh, That was a fun and another fan was like, I, I love and respect Cube, but his alignment with a white supremacist is all we need to know. I get it money matters so do you do you my guy just keep it 100 don't throw Jan horse for them white supremacy is who you are and represent enjoy a second comment reads I can actually understand what's disturbing these fans and I can feel for them because the remark seemingly references Max's friendship with figures like that disgraced former president Donald Trump, Joe Rogan and others assumed to be white supremacist. That is what disturbing them and, and to, those, to which uh, Ice Cube clapped back and he was like shut up I ain't aligned with nothing punk I draw my own fucking lines. Uh, that, that's what that's where his words and the fans are actually amazed and disturbed why is, is he aligned with and such accusations are coming ahead of the big three's new season cube extended an invitation to shakili o'neill who is previously doubted one of the greatest players of all time to join the league after the NBA superstar recently floated the idea of playing in the Legends League. And Ice Cube wrote and said, we got the contract ready for you, big fella. And the big fella is meaning Shaquille O'Neal. You got three months to get diesel. You can eat all day in the big three shark. And more to that, during a chat with the former Miami hit guard Mario Chalmers on his big podcast, Shaq actually toyed with the idea of hitting the court again, albeit with a hint of hesitation. And he asked Chalmers like, you think I can play in the big three? That was a question. Uh, so this question had to attract the attention of the big three players and they, this is what they replied they were like yeah 
easily. I got the perfect spot for you to come over there with me and Mike Basley. You ain't got to do nothing but stay in the paint. So Shark was so amazed and continued like, you really think I could play? I thought about it and I, I, I just had hip surgery and I ain't played since. I don't think I can get back in that mode. For the NBA followers, you remember that Shaka's retirement from the NBA was 13 years ago, but I think his potential return to the court could actually be a game changer for the big three as the most iconic player. His presence would elevate the league, already boasting former stars like Joe Johnson, Rashad Lewis and Jason Richards. That's what I think, but you can tell me what you think in the comment boxes below. All right, guys, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, turn on that notification bell 